Hi guys. Now, for energy, let me describe to you energy like telling a story. Okay. Now, energy in form 4 is divided into 2. Okay. You will have your kinetic energy and you will have your over here potential energy okay now your potential energy my dear students eh, has two types okay the first type is what we call over here elastic potential energy the second type is what we call gravitational potential energy okay these are the two types that we have okay now elastic potential energy and gravitational potential energy the difference is elastic is due to the condition okay example of a spring now if you have a spring and you compress the spring or you extend the spring the spring has elastic potential energy okay because of the condition remember you compress or you extend gravitational potential energy is due to the position okay of the object now the higher the object is the higher the gravitational potential energy now in exam my dear students uh, you cannot write your answers uh, for an example, if uh, they ask you a person is standing on top of a chair, what energy does that person possess? You cannot write gravitational, sorry, you cannot write potential energy only. You have to write gravitational potential energy. I give you a spring. I'm asking you, the spring possesses what energy? You must write elastic potential energy. Okay? Now, each and every one of them come with a set of formula. All right? Now, first, for kinetic energy. Kinetic energy, 1 over 2 mv squared. Okay? Now, m over here is mass. v here is velocity. I repeat that. Mass and velocity. Now, potential energy, this one, for elastic, yeah, you'll get 1 over 2 fx. Okay? Where f is over here your force and x is over here your extension now some students they don't understand over here so extension force i understand so extension i don't understand now you view my next video i will explain to you one question where i'm using elastic potential energy guys huh? don't worry okay gravitational potential energy this one you guys have used it before m g h okay so these are the three important formulas for energy now in my next video i'm going to give you a few examples to demonstrate to you over here on how the concept works all right.